Notion often releases subtle enhancements that individually can seem trivial, but collectively they contribute to a more cohesive and gratifying user experience. And that's certainly the case with a couple of updates from September 2021, which we'll take a quick look at now. So the first one relates to the URL property of databases. Previously, if you were to click within the value of a URL property, it would give you a blinking cursor to edit the URL. But now that URL functions like a hyperlink, you click it, it opens the URL as a page in your browser. And if you hover your cursor over the value without clicking, you now have two buttons to the right. You have one to copy the URL so you can paste it into your address bar or share it. And then to edit the URL, you have another button that you can click and it gives you that blinking cursor. And then the second update is quite similar. It pertains to the email property of databases. So if you click within the value of an email property, you are going to get that blinking cursor to edit the email address. But if you hover over the email property without clicking, you have two buttons. One, just like the URL property, is to copy the email address, which you can use to share or to populate a new email. And then this at icon will open up your email client with a new email composition window with that email address pre-populated in the to field. And then the third notable update is that you can attach files to comments, which is particularly useful with photos. So if we add a comment to this top level thread of this page, let's say we want to suggest a new headshot. So we'll say, how about this headshot? And then over here to the right, we have these icons, one of which is the option to attach a file. So if we click on that, choose an image, it's going to display a thumbnail of that image. And if we submit the comment, it will upload the full version of that image. So anybody who visits this page to see those comments will see the recommendation for a new headshot with that image attached, which they have the ability to access and replace the existing headshot if they choose to do so.